Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be looking at this, which uh, if I just show you, I've never played one like one of these things before. But this is, apparently is it is it an altimeter or pressure sensor or something like that? Uh, it's labelled GY hyphen BM, and this is the P version, and it says there 280. So I assume the model is GY BM P 280. And you can see we've got a VCC, we've got ground, serial clock, serial data. CSB, which I don't really understand. Uh, for SPI, that would be chip select something. And SDO, data out or something like that. I don't really understand that. I mean, I'll probably just end up using VCC ground, SCL, and SDA. Anyway, it's always good to have a quick look, though, isn't it? The actual board um, is quite good quality. It's uh, gold plated and it's got a very purple appearance. Anyway, um, if I look at the actual chip itself, well, if I don't know if the camera will make it out, so a quick look. Uh, maybe the camera will make it out, maybe not, I don't know. But apparently, this little chip is made by Bosch, which I find to be quite strange because usually they're not made in, well, you know, they're not German, they're Chinese. Right, so I'm looking at BoschSensorTech.com. And it's talking about this BMP280 barometric pressure sensor. So I thought I'd just have a quick read through it and find out exactly what this is. So it says, it's an absolute barome barometric pressure sensor, especially designed for mobile applications. So, okay, so it's for phones and stuff. It's housed in an extremely compact package. Uh, low power consumption. So it's for mobile phones, GPS, modules, etc. Uh, it's a predecessor, well, I don't really care about its predecessor. Uh, high accuracy, linearity, long long term stability. Uh, okay. Applications, right, okay, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, integrated, blah, 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 blah. Humidity and temperature in a metal lid. Alright, cool. I think that's enough info. We can have a quick look at this, but I'm not expecting to see anything interesting. Um, a few details about the sensors, um, voltage and stuff like that. Okay, that's good enough. So that's a bit about the sensor. Let's move on. Anyway, uh, I think I'll solder this thing up and um, start having to play around with it and see what happens. Okay, actually, uh, for those of you who have been watching my videos quite a lot recently, uh, you'll know that I had a bit of a problem with this, um, with the soldering iron, and um, I actually resolved it. What I did was I ground the end away of the tip and made it into a, like a chisel point, and um, I suppose it might not last very long, but at least I can get more use out of the tip, because it just wasn't heating up for some reason, the end of it just wasn't heating up. Anyway, so that's done. So, um, now wiring this thing up. So, I've got a nano. I'll just plug it in here. Let's put it in there. And we'll push this in here as well. Right, so what are we going to do here? Um, as usual, let me just get my wires. And we've got a red wire, so we'll have VCC. Now, usually these devices are 3.3 volts. Um, and on the Nano you get a 3.3 out so that's really useful so I'll put 3.3 volts to the VCC so we can get a wire for ground so ground to Arduino ground which which we'll use this one um, then what's next we've got SDA serial data and SDA goes to A4 on the Arduino and the Pro Mini. And SCL is the other one. SCL goes to A5 on the Arduino. And uh, that's that. Now, about those two, CSB and SDO, I don't actually know what they are, so I'll have to find out. Alright, so we've wired it up, and now how do we use it? 
So open a new sketch, go to sketch and then include library and then manage libraries. And then uh, where it says type all topic all filter your search, click in filter your search and type in BMP280. Now surprisingly, um, some of these common libraries don't actually work. Um, I've tried these two and they don't work for me. However, this one does work. So it's called I2C Sensor Lib iLib by Ingmar Split. Um, so yeah, install this one here. Uh, obviously I can't install it because I already have, but there should be a button over here that says install or something like that. So install it and then when you've done that, you should be able to go to file and then examples. So go to file examples and then go to I squared C sensor lib iLib. Then go to I squared C BMP280. And then it will come up and let's just have a quick check through this. Um, I mean, it's amazing that, these, that this guy has written this library for us because it's probably taken a long, long time uh, to get it right. And it's free, so it's, it's really brilliant. Anyway, all that looks good to me. So control and U to upload it. Of course, you need to go to tools and uh, select the board and all that sort of stuff on the port if you've not already done that. But anyway, um, when you've done it, press control shift M for serial monitor and it comes up so uh, what's this looking like so it's in the height is minus one meter um, we're not below uh, we're not below sea level here so that's maybe not quite accurate but um, let's lift it up so I'm gonna lift it up a meter if this cable will allow it and let's see what it does so oh, I've just got the cable stuck on something here we go. So I lifted up one meter, approximately one meter. That's about there. Okay. Oh, it's disconnected. Hang on a second. There we go. Yeah. So I've lifted it up one meter, and it says a uh, zero meters or zero point three meters or whatever. Um, and I'll put it back down again, and it should say minus one. minus one meter so yeah you probably need calibrating but you can see that it does actually work uh, so what's this other one height so you've got a height PT1 and height I don't really know what the difference is there now pressure um, I mean what is that value uh, PA I don't really know what that means pounds atmosphere I don't know um, but we'll check that in a minute and then temperature uh, 26 degrees I think it probably is about that We've had um, some freak weather in the UK and it's really, really hot. It's unusual really, but um, it's extremely hot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just verify these things. So I'll look at a, a special map and we'll, we'll see. Okay, so elevation. I'm around this area here, so it's pretty obvious to me that uh, the minus one meter is actually inaccurate because we're not minus one meter here. We're a lot more than, we're a lot higher than that. Um, but, um, you know, what I can say is that when you elevate the module, it does actually add around about uh, the distance that you do elevate it or, or, or lower it down. So it is working, but I think it's just not calibrated properly. So as regard the temperature, uh, it says 26, 28, something like that, um, or 26.9. Uh, that's that's probably about right. I mean, Chester here right now is 25 degrees, which is very hot for the UK. Um, so yeah, uh, inside this office, I've got the doors and the win the door and the windows open, so it probably is about right. And then pressure, atmospheric pressure uh, at the sea level, which we're kind of close to the sea level, is 101,325 pascals. And here it's saying 101,330. So, it, you know, it's, it's not far off. So, um, yeah, that's how to get started and um, get this thing actually working. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye.